Okay, let's talk a little bit about the filth, and that's what the Knesset called uh, the president's speech yesterday. Filth, and it absolutely was. He actually got up in front of people and said, you know what, you Israeli parents, you should just meet some of the good kids that I've met who are Palestinians. Mm -hmm. Can you believe he's lecturing people? They build hospitals they take Muslims, Jews, Christians, atheists at their hospitals. They will go with their ambulances and their hospitals, and they will go pick up the people who tried to blow their children up, and they will treat them. How dare you lecture the Israelis about how good the Palestinians are? How dare you? They're the ones who give the Palestinians jobs. Because there are none to be had and in the if, Palestinian if the, territories. If this president actually had talked to any Palestinians, God, actually talked to any real, not rebel, not extremist, but real Palestinians, they will tell you, please, 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 don't say my name. Don't show a picture of me. But mm-hmm. please don't get rid of the state of Israel because it's the only hope we have. They're not, they don't love the Jewish people or anything. They just know they're better off in the hands of the Jewish people than they are By their far. own crazy extremists. Do you know who do you know who the new president is? The new guy, the, uh, the heading of the rebel party in, uh, in Syria? Do you know who he is? No. You're not going to believe this. Muslim Brotherhood. Oh, but wait, there's more. Remember we were arming the Muslim Brotherhood? Remember that? Mm-hmm. We were arming the Muslim Brotherhood over in Syria. Well, guess who is in charge of the, the, the new rebel army over there? The Muslim Brotherhood. Who would have seen that one coming? Oh, there's more. The guy also happened to be born in Syria, but he was raised in the great state of Texas, USA, where he lived and was a member of CARE. He went back to be a rebel and fight for the Muslim Brotherhood. Mm. We are in, we are deeply in bed. With all of the wrong people. And when this chicken comes home to roost, if you think that you could sit in Jeremiah Wright's church for 20 years and not hate this country. And Israel. And Israel. And not want to see it get everything it deserves. You are crazy. You need to go see. I mean, I don't know how many of the administration has tied up now in their gun control uh, stuff. But maybe you should see if they could open up an appointment for you and you go sit on one of their couches and see, am I crazy? Am I crazy? Because I think that would affect you. Moshe uh, Figlin, who is a Likud law- lawmaker, uh, said that while Obama is lecturing the uh, Israeli people on listening to the Palestinians and just listen to that they want peace, that's all they want, and calling Israel uh, an occupier in their own land, he said all he could think of was baby Adele, who was injured with by stone-throwing Palestinians near Ariel last week. Three-year-old Adele Biden is now fighting for her life after being critically injured when Palestinians were throwing rocks at the car she was in with her sisters and her Same. mother. Uh, it caused her car to swerve into an oncoming truck and be hit head-on. And that's all he could think of. Uh, it, it's pathetic how this president doesn't seem to understand, or if he does understand, he's just flat out in the on the wrong side. Yes, I don't think it's the wrong side. I don't think it's the wrong side. I think I think you're. I mean, you're so. It's it's not it's, it's not it's not like hey, you're on the wrong side of this debate. You are helping the forces of profound darkness. Mm-hmm. I mean, I made the prediction what yesterday, uh, and remember, I used to get yelled at for bringing up Nazis. Because I warned, the Nazi party is coming back. It's coming back. Oh, well, what's happening in Europe? It's starting to sprout its ugly head everywhere in Europe. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Now, when I was started saying the Nazi party is coming back, everybody said I was crazy, and I was told to shut up. Shut up. You're, you're an anti-Semite for, say, for warning that the Nazi party will come back. Well, the Nazi party was in bed with the Muslim, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood. They were simpatico well they still are gang they still are we you tell me the nation that is willing to stand you know in 1939 once fdr really got it because um uh, churchill said listen man i'm gonna come over there and sit on you until you get it he said you might as well take our british ships 
and paint them all with a Nazi uh, symbol on them because soon, within a year, if you don't help us, within a year, you will have Nazi ships off the sides of, on the on the coastline of um, of the East Coast, and England won't be able to help you. That's when he finally got it. He didn't want to fight the Nazis. They were just like Kennedy and everybody else. They were all fine. With, do the Nazis? They're good. Do you do you think? I mean, at least FDR said this nation cannot fall. This nation cannot fall. Do you think this guy's going to say that? No. Do you think anybody in this administration is saying no? You know what? Because FDR, the reason why we got out of uh, out of all of this is because FDR turned off all of his New Deal stuff to go ahead and build the war machine, and he said, you know what? Give it to the hands of the capitalists, and that's what saved us. Do you think this guy will do this? This guy's rooting for our destruction. I, 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 he's rooting for the destruction of Israel. He's clearly rooting for it because his pattern, he just did exactly what he did when he went to Cairo. He, to the letter, the same thing, one right after another. And what did he do when he was in Cairo? Set up the Middle East turmoil, the Arab Spring. He's just cut the legs off of the Knesset and Benjamin Netanyahu, and he did it, and the press doesn't say a word, and nobody's even recognizing what he's done. And by the way, the president should be pretty careful and pretty selective on who he talks to when he talks to the average Palestinian, uh, given that uh, 87% of them uh, support killing our troops that happen to be stationed in the Gulf. Uh, 56% of them Jeez. have specific support for the actions of Osama bin Laden. Uh, another thirty-nine uh percent -huh. are either approve or have mixed feelings of killing our ci citizens here, civilians in the United States. Ninety-two percent believe Jerusalem should be the capital of Palestine. Sixty-two percent support kidnapping IDF soldiers and holding them hostage. Fifty-three percent were in favor of teaching songs about hating Jews in Palestinian schools. When given the quote about a Hama the Hamas charter about the need for battalions from the Arab and Islamic world to defeat the Jews. 80% agreed. And if you want to talk about killing Jews hiding behind stones and trees, 73% agree with that sentence, which is a quote from the Hamas charter. No, but you just need to sit down which is and a talk commode. to them. Excuse me. Hamas charter is not going far enough. Mm -hmm. It's a quote from the Hamas charter, which is quoting the Quran. So... So what at what average Palestinians are you talking about? You no, better just sit down and them. talk to them. Yeah, just sit yeah. down and, and talk to them. You, and then you, you have Israelis. You're so uh, you you're so to, yesterday. If just you just sit down people. and talk to these people, my gosh, this guy's a danger. <sighs> I apologize, Israel. Please don't hold it against the people of the United States. Only about fifty percent of the people of the United States.